As we approach the end of the school year, districts in our region have no choice but to look ahead to next year. Will students return to brick and mortar schools? How will schools handle any potential outbreaks if they arise? As Tyler Paley explains tonight, one local superintendent says the path forward is paved with great caution. A draft of new guidelines from the Ohio Department of Education sheds insight on what school could look like this fall. The 11 page draft called the Reset and Restart Education Planning Guide lays out four main considerations the state is taking into account, physical health and safety, educational challenges, social and emotional health, and operational concerns. Perrysburg School Superintendent Tom Hostler told parents in a Friday letter, quote, we appreciate seeing ODE's guidelines and will use them as we plan for a safe return to school. Students need to be back in school for a variety of reasons. Hostler also said he appreciated the plan's acknowledgement that the answer isn't a one-size-fits-all. I think as, as, we, as we begin Begin to consider and get our head around these restrictions, I think it's important to pay attention to the language that's being used here. At a school board meeting online Monday, Hostler said putting the recommendations into action would be difficult, especially social distancing within classrooms. And if we have a class of 33 students and we can only fit nine, maybe 10, um, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. Tonight, Perrysburg's Board of Education was not ready to make any definitive decisions as districts await final guidance from the state. Reporting tonight, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11.